Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Black Cat Tarot. So today I'm continuing the Myers-Briggs personality type readings and today's reading is for INFPs. So I'm going to get started with some tarot cards. What do INFPs need to know? What do INFPs need to know? Whoa. Hello there. Three of Cups. What do INFPs need to know? The sun. What do INFPs need to know? Two of pentacles. And the hang hanged man. Okay. I'm going to get you guys some of these wisdom of the oracle cards because... Um, they're new, and I'm really enjoying them, and I'll use my intuition for whatever messages we get, but I'll also be reading from the booklet, so so if there's a message in there, too, you'll, you'll get it. What do INFPs need to know? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm having a hard time handling the cards for this reading serendipity okay <sighs> okay um what do INFPs need to know imagine I like that for INFPs imagine Okay, I'm going to get you guys some Moonology cards. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do INFPs need to know? Hmm, okay. Okay, very interesting, and now I'm going to get you guys some quick tea leaf cards. June, you guys got the card June. <sighs> Shield, May, May and June, interesting. Sun, oh my gosh, you guys got the sun and the sun. And Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay, and finally, I'm going to get you guys a self-care oracle. <laughs> okay, that sort of exploded on me. You guys got family, chanting, and connect with Earth. Okay. A lot of cards here. Let me just rearrange them really quick so you can see most of them. Okay. So, for what I'm seeing with this, for the most part, is that there needs to be some sort of balance. The Hanged Man makes me think a lot of the um, suits of cards where there's two, like the two of pentacles, the two of swords also specifically. I don't know why. I think because I see it, the twos as a sort of, at least in regards for the two of pentacles and the two of swords as a huge, kind of just a pause. In regards to the two of pentacles, it's more of a pause because you're too busy juggling a bunch of stuff to really focus on something else you're really doing a lot of juggling with the two of pentacles okay give me a second i just need to take in the messages i feel like one thing that's popping out for me a lot with the three of cups and family is a large need to spend time with family and friends maybe you've been really busy juggling career or 
school or whatever it is in your life and you're having you're not giving enough time to yourself and your social life and the people you care about and i see with this don't let pride get in your way of the full moon in leo it's making me think especially with a time for healing with this balsamic moon it's making me think that maybe maybe you've recently under, undergone something and it's it's really taken a toll on you maybe you're currently juggling something and you should you need to take a break and spend more time with family and spend some time outdoors and you just haven't been doing that maybe maybe you made a promise to yourself that you would get this done or whatever it is there's some sort of pride with this situation where you feel that you must do it and I see that you know this this can wait right now you're being asked to adjust the situation to make space for healing and when you do this I mean a lot of happiness and abundance is going to come to you I mean you've got the sun and a tarot card right there and the sun and this oracle card I love when I see duplicate cards come out I think it's so magical so I definitely think that whatever you're doing and I'm not sorry I keep moving this around I'm just trying to find a place that feels right for it whatever you're doing right now it obviously is very important for you but I feel like right now there's you're stuck in some sort of rut and you need to take some time out to figure out what you need to do next and I think a lot of that help and ideas of what you need to do next will come from family and spending time with yourself because with historic news of a birth or a new business opportunity I feel like it's definitely more of an opportunity that you've been really stuck on and not necessarily this new one but maybe something you've been trying really hard to make successful but maybe that's just not the thing maybe you don't even want to do it anymore it's just you you've committed so much at this point that your pride is almost not letting you finish or not finish stop but I feel like you just need to take a moment you need a pause as this hanged man if you if you don't pause from this constant juggling act and spend some time with your family and friends and just chill stuff is going to be put on pause for you i see that a lot with hangman it's if you don't initiate the pause for yourself and try and look at things from a different perspective and just wait the universe has a tendency to make you do that one way or another And when I see you need to defend yourself with a shield, I'm more so getting a sort of strong, like, back and forth talk with yourself. Maybe you've had a lot of these negative thoughts or need to prove something to yourself or just bad self-talk. And everyone falls into that. And I know INFPs, because um, I'm an INFP. There's a tendency to do a lot of um, imagining conversations and I feel like if you've been quite mean to yourself lately in terms of talking, you know, take a step back and be a little kinder to yourself. But, you know, it's okay if you've gone this far in something and you realize, wait, this isn't even what I want to do okay to realize you're not a failure you're not letting everyone down you know everything happens for a reason and I'm sure you learned a lot from that path you were on and now it's time to change it so like I said change adjustment <laughs> adjustments are required and you just need some time to heal and I think a new opportunity is going to present itself you know, maybe 
it may take a while for this opportunity to present itself with June and May. Maybe May of next year will show up. Or maybe, this is also coming up, maybe the signs that this wasn't the path you truly wanted, whatever this is, started showing up in May and June, and you've just been stubbornly holding on to it. Um, regards to serendipity with the four-leaf clover, both of the sun cards, I really see that you know, everything's going to turn all right turn out all right you've got luck on your side and if you just take a moment to pause and look at a different perspective and not be afraid to change the situation despite whatever other people's expectations of you are it's you're going to be very happy it's going to bring about a lot of serendipity (laughs) and i also think once you're able to take this break you're going to have a lot of time to imagine what you really want and be able to explore that and I think that is going to help a lot in regards to this new opportunity you're going to have time to really explore what you truly want and I think when you do if you do spend time to yourself if you finally decide okay I, this just isn't for me. I've spent a lot of time working on it, but I now realize that this isn't for me and I'm just going to let it go because that's okay. And I'm not, I'm not a quitter or a failure. Um, for this opportunity to come in and this happiness, it's definitely telling you to spend time with family. I'm also feeling friends and connect with the earth. Go outside, go on a walk. You know, there's a look for fairies card in this deck and it didn't come out, but I'm really getting that, that vibe with this is go out and look for fairies, do some chanting, go to, I don't know if they do it in yoga places, but if they do chanting in yoga places, go do that. Because I think it will really enhance your imagination and help you realize what you genuinely want. And that's the time of healing you need to figure out what you want. Okay, INFPs, I think I'm going to leave it here. I enjoyed this reading, and I hope you guys did too. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!